G'day guys, Michael Tamitz here. Today we're going to be using the placement node again, but today we're going to be using, we're going to be making a full-fledged scene. A, we're going to be making a foliage scene since it involves a lot of um, objects, a lot of um, instancing. Um, I'll be placing the mesh along in a RAW file that you can download and dissect and everything along with the, all the textures and stuff. So um, let's get into it. So load up. We're going to be loading up about four objects. We're going to be loading up the plane. So load up plane and just uh, get your scene there. And let's also bump up the fan just so it doesn't cook itself. Alright, so we have a plane. Load up your fern. Nice little fern group there. And let's also add the zebra. Beautiful. Okay, so now first we want to do is we're going to first move. Um, we're going to be starting with this, the ferns. Um, before we do, let's get a daylight setting ready. Let's give this a little bit of texture. We'll be going. We'll be using the live database, uh, organic vegetation, and this this is really good um, one called grass made by Lech. So good on your Lech for making the grass. Oh wait, is that the grass SS? Hmm. Oh well. So that connects. Oh yeah, it is subset scattering. Alright, awesome. So, we now have a fern here, and if we zoom in closely and go to PM path tracing, we can see that there is a little bit of substance scattering happening. Excellent. So, let's go back. So now we're going. We are going to duplicate this fern first. It's going to be very uh, tiring because the one I made, I didn't. I just really just didn't focusing on the. I didn't focus on the uh, rotation of it. So right click, add, and let's just pause it. Right click, add, object placement, copy, paste, paste. Paste. Uh, let's only do three for now. Right click, add object, and let's go with group. Connect these three. Connect the fern to the placements node. And connect the placement to the geometry groups. And let's also add another input for it. Okay, now um, I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but so, um, since it's a developer preview version, it will, will crash on you. It won't, it won't crash, but it will freeze the viewport up sometimes. So let's just quickly save this as tutorial and reopen the file. It takes about it takes a few seconds. It probably will happen during the course of this, but um, you know, it's a bug we have to work on. Let's also change this just for tutorial sake. Alright, so let's get a bird's eye view. Alright, so on the second placement, we want to change the X to about uh, 2. Nice and cluttered. And let's change the rotation 10, 50, uh, 60, or 85. And let's bring that down. 
zero, negative four, oops, too much, negative 2.5. Negative three. Um. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so change the y, the z to negative two, and let's change the rotation of this to about forty-five. And let's add this a three All right, that's good. Now uh, let's copy the placement paste. okay, let's move down, paste, paste, paste. Do the same again. Paste, paste, and paste. Alright, so first we're going to be rotating this one to 200. And let's move this negative 2. Um, negative three, negative four, that's better, um, one thirty, whoa, 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 that's not right. That's a bit more better. All right, yeah. Sorry. Um, the Y has to be two hundred. Yeah. Don't want it to be. Don't want it to be upside down, do we? All right. Now let's do this again. So this time, just copy place the here, and let's just change the parameters. Ah, oh, yep. Change the parameters. Yep, yep, and yep. Um, let's change this to five. Let's change this to negative five. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we want to copy this whole entire thing and move it that way. So, copy paste it again. Um, and this time I'm going to rotate it uh, 360. No wait, no 180 I mean, sorry. 180, and we're going to move it on the wait, zero zero. And we're going to move it ten. That's it. Let's get the group geometry group. All right, so it's glitched again. So, oh, hang on. 
No, it hasn't. Alright, so... Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, so... We want to copy the same rotation. That we want to... But we want to move it. Negative uh, 5. I want to move it negative 10. That's good. Good enough. Okay, and... Alright, good. So, yep, let's copy paste this again. And I think this will be our... Oh, we'll do this about four more times. Because the last, um, the first try I did it in the work in progress section, which you can see, um, I didn't put enough enough on. I didn't put enough rows, no columns. So this will be up by uh, zero ten. 50, well not 50, uh, 30, 20, alright oh, that's good, and they can put this the same, but we'll place this now oh, it's a bit curved Bit annoying. Uh, ten. We could place the camera here. Yeah, that's good. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's copy it only two more times. And that will be, I think that will suffice. Definitely. There's no, there's not much, there's, uh, what's the saying? No such thing as too much. That's what they say. Now we want to just make the zero, zero. Okay. We want to turn it 180. And we want to merge this in. That's good. Okay, so now that we have our ferns, we now want to get the plants, like the real bulky plant, which is the the ca the catasereth uh, yeah. very I forgot what it's called but it's it's in my house it's on my uh, I have it in the uh, garden so we're going to use the vegetation we're going to use this really beautiful texture that I found if I can find it I think it's this one. Oh, beautiful. Magnificent. And we're going to use the grass. Um, oh, wait, no, we don't. We just connect the grass node to the fern and whip your damn down. So now it's going to be the hard bit. Okay, so. Alright, it. Has oh no, it hasn't paused. Um, won't lie, it's going to get slow. Okay, so that's going to be our ferns.